Okay, next. Have you been following Invincible Iron Man, Stark Resilient, and what are your thoughts so far? Um, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't followed it. We, gosh, we have them. We do. I just, I'll pick them up later. <laughs> <laughs> like, we have them in a stack. Like, I, was, I read, I started to, I just didn't finish it. And, I don't know, ever, ever, ever since after um, Most Wanted, because, man, I was actually feeling bad for Tony and... I just feel like they re once again went back on what they had done with Tony not, I mean, with them having to reboot his brain. Yeah. And I just, and everybody's like, oh, you're despicable, but we love you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hug. I'm like, sorry. I really. I'm, I'm, I'm so annoyed with Marvel kind of right now. I, I'm sorry, but I just, Tony Stark, I just, at the moment, I just, I just. I just don't like him. I haven't liked Tony since Civil War. Yeah. I just, Man, I, just have, I, I will pick up. I, I will it. pick up the Invincible Iron Man Ooh. series when the story. I, I you know, know what, Invincible Iron characters. Man stories. That that's a really really well written book. I'm just upset with these decisions that they're making. I mean, things happen. Repercussions. I mean, they have ripples, but it's it's not ever. Everlasting, you know, like Spider Man revealing his secret identity. Oh, he deal with the devil. Well, we, we did another video yeah, about which so. just make it look at our, our Marvel no take backs and we'll, yeah, we go deep. We, we go deep into the, that, that question, whole, the, the, that what question. we're talking about anyway. Okay, okay, tell me who do you think will win in a fight between Doomsday and the Hulk? Well, Doomsday uh, killed Superman, but according to Marvel, no one, yeah, can defeat the Hulk, yeah. And oh, yeah. if you look at uh, World War Hulk, him beating the Sentry, who's the like ultimate super it's, it's, strength it's, guy, it's power of ten thousand exploding, exploding suns. No, it's a million exploding, a million exploding, exploding suns. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> the power but, of a million exploding <laughs> suns. I don't know, but the point is, is that how can Marvel, you have someone with the power of a million him. exploding suns and expect any kind of consistency? <laughs> That's just a little too insane. And he was insane. That's maybe because of the. And then Tony hit him the with a helicarrier, and it was over. <laughs> and now he's gone. <laughs> it's it's, um, it's weird. I don't I don't think I, if, if if Marvel was consistent in what people's powers, like the range of their powers, was because World War Hulk was absolutely ridiculous. It was. It was. I mean, it got to the point that it was barely readable. It was just like so ridiculous, um, but I think if it was I, I consistent, think, then if it I was consistent, it, it would be Doomsday. But because of how Marvel's always stretched and stuff, then it it's depends the how angry he is. Yeah, did the Doomsday steal his cookie? <laughs> <laughs> it all depends on that. Okay, DC or Marvel, and if you could be any character from either universe, which would it be? Um, well. I s still say DC, uh, Marvel overall, but but my favorite comic book series to read is, is Superman slash Batman. So, yeah. um, but overall Marvel. It depends what is going on yeah, yeah. in either universe because there are times I'm so sick of Marvel and then there's times I'm so sick of DC. Um, well, you know, DC's always been kind of consistent. Like, it might be... They might have an epic, like confusing black, thingy. Nice. They might have a weird thing like that, but, you know, they always do things like that, in my opinion. You know, Marvel, Marvel seems like they're taking all these steps forward, and then they take, like, 200 back. I know, yeah. but... Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I, 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 I don't know. It just, it just depends. I... Uh, there are more characters equivalent. There are more characters. There are more characters that I like in Marvel, more so in DC. So that's why I'm kind of having a hard time because DC is more consistent, but Marvel just has more of a variety of characters that I like. Right. But I, then I again, take it back that consistent comment. Now that I think about the crises, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, it's it's hard. It's like apples and oranges. It's like, what do you feel like eating today? Basically, what character would you be? Um, they don't have many light skinned characters in either universe. I don't what does that have to do with I don't, anything? I don't know. There's just no one that looks like me. Uh, what does that have to do with anything? The, like, the pet, I like, don't know who would, you, would I be. Whose powers would you want? Uh, whose powers would I want? I don't know. I, I, that is hard.
hard. I don't want the phoenix. Oh yeah, you would go crazy every time PM you PMS the whole world. Oh, 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 oh. we're gonna go there. <laughs> I look. I know. I ain't choose the phoenix. I know. I the whole universe will be destroyed every twenty eight days. <laughs> I move to realities and destroy the next reality. I I ain't being the phoenix because I I can be crazy sometimes and you go crazy. You know, just um, if I could have any, if I could be any person, man. Who would I choose to be? That is a hard question. Bruce Wayne's wife. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to die. <laughs> <laughs> At least I'll die with a billion dollars. <laughs> what difference does I don't make? think you, you get to take that to heaven. I don't know. Nor would I, do I think it would matter up in heaven. <laughs> I, I really don't know. Christina, what would you want? Who would you want to be? I don't, I don't know. I, I guess I would want some powers like the phoenix because you know you can do like anything. anything you can do anything with the scarlet witch too yeah when you alter reality yeah you do get kind of crazy yeah i guess the, the phoenix would be the best i mean she is you know when she was in control of it she yeah. was really really cool yeah you know but the thing about it is if you get too powerful in either universe you have to be taken down some type of way they won't let you. I mean, she she was you know, something always happened. G Gina has died a couple times. So. But if I could contain it, I would love to be the phoenix, yeah. just because you can basically do any, any you know just about anything. I mean, you can fly, you can you know. I mean, the telekinetic and telepathic abilities together are really awesome. If you have right. both, because uh, you might not be the strongest, but you can make the person think that you're stronger than them. So. I think that'd be cool, mm -hmm. but I would love to have super strength too. I don't know. I, I really don't. I think know. I think uh, uh, Susan Richards would be Invisible Woman would be a really cool person to be too, with her abilities with the force fields and stuff like that. Uh, you know, you really wouldn't need super strength if you you know, if all they control the force fields. You know, I would like to have Superman's powers as well. But I tell you what, if I had Superman's powers. There would not be any kryptonite on oh. the planet. It'd be gone. Yeah, I would no, have people really scouring every single chance I, I mean, they had. Like, oh, you won't break? Okay, well, there's a break, and then there's a kryptonite search break. Because, <laughs> I mean, because there would not be any kryptonite on the planet whatsoever. I would make sure of that. Like, I ain't getting no weaknesses. Can I have, Jean, have can I have the Phoenix's powers but look like Wonder Woman? Is that an option? I, I suppose it's it's your answer. To but if you have Jean's powers, you can make people think that you look like Wonder Woman. True. So I I think I'd just end up sticking with the Phoenix. Mm -hmm. You know. Okay. Favorite definitive Superman story. Um, my favorite is the Superman Batman uh, annual. Second annual. Second annual. That's my most favorite story. Too. That man, you read that. Book. It's like, and Clark, I didn't know you were such a man. <laughs> Basically, that has to be like the best. That was good. That has to be like the best one-shot Superman story I've, I've ever read, and I've I've read quite a bit of Superman. It books. just made you feel. It, 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 you know what? I hadn't, you know, I haven't had a comic book make me feel that way in such a long time. Like a lot of it was just like feel-good stuff, but that one like really gave you hope. <laughs> I like it sounds corny, but I'm totally telling you the truth. Like that story was really good. So second annual Batman Superman story that was like that's my all time. Mm -hmm. um, comic book dream team or what comic would they be on? What, what if it was just an arc though? Like what are your Superman story arcs? Or? I mean the, the Hundred Men of War that was War of the Superman that was actually it's one of our, right there. Third one. This one, this story was really good. I don't know. I still like that the second annual though. That I really like Godfall too. That was cool. I really <laughs> like the second annual. Oh, if you read Superman Godfall with the girl with the you know purple hair and stuff, mm -hmm. <laughs> there's a story like at the end of one of them <laughs> with Lana. <laughs> you should read that. <laughs> She's her craziness reaches a peak. A peak. Okay, comic book dream team, and what comic would they be on? Um, My favorite all-time team ever. I love. Yeah, the 
the new Avengers, Avengers. that team. Well, I guess you could replace Century with Thor, and that would be perfect. Yeah, but, yeah, <laughs> that would be perfect. I perfect, loved it. Perfect. It was like a dream come true. See? You had you had Iron Man, you had Spider Man, you had Captain America, Captain America, Luke Wolverine, Cage, Wolverine, Luke Cage, and then you had uh, uh, Spider Woman. Uh, Look, you said Wolverine and Spider Man's and Captain America is on a team together. I was so yeah. yeah. I'm you so 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 yeah. You could else. Yeah. yeah. You know, like it. I I would if I could. I'm trying to think who on DC could I put on the team? Because Batman would not like Wolverine whatsoever. He wouldn't get. Matter of fact, Batman's like I'm not being on this team. Uh. I don't know. I those first twenty five issues, I, I, can, I cherish them. Yeah, and then when I think about it now, it's so sad. Mm -hmm. It's so sad. It's kind of hard to go back and read those because they just screwed up everybody's lives so much. Mm -hmm. And it's just not the same when you pick up and try to read them now that the Civil War and all that stuff is over. It's just not the same. It's not. But it, when you, it you was remember first all that history and stuff that happened mm -hmm. when it first started. It was great. But yeah, I would choose that same team, the New Avengers team. But take Sentry out and put Thor on there. Yeah, that that been perfect. Um, all time favorite comic. Um, I have to say my all time favorite, just because of sentimental value, is the first comic book I've ever read, which was when um, Kitty Pride was reading a bedtime story to um, uh, Colossus's sister. That's in this book right here. <laughs> Ileana. Mm -hmm. She was reading a bedtime story to him and I was eight years old. It was a teenager reading this little girl a bedtime story with all the characters and stuff and so I, I fell in love with it and I loved it and I, I, I cherished that just for sentimental value. I did not know she was going to say that. That book was just there. <laughs> it just <laughs> happened to be there. Yeah. Mine would have to be If Thy Sins Be Forgiven when they introduced Joseph which was the, the young clone of Magneto. Oh, Joseph. But you didn't know that you you didn't know that it was a clone. I was so mad he was a clone, but um, uh, yeah, cause he had she had showed up in what was it like some South American country, and um, it'd be funny if it's Mexico. <laughs> was it Mexico? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't know. It was Hispanic, but <laughs> wow, I, I can't remember. It was a long time ago. But um, and this woman, this woman who was a nun, she took him in, and she, uh, she was a nun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you said that. I did. Yeah. Okay, this woman took him in. She was a nun. She was over at an orphanage, and the the local hooligans or whatever got mad and kidnapped the kids, and Magneto you know, went in and just killed everybody to get the kids out. Yeah. So inspiring. Yeah. The thing about it is that you didn't know was, if he was you couldn't you didn't know if he was good or evil. Yeah. That's and that's what the it thing was. about it. And, and that's it actually is a really good book. Yeah. I know I've I've read it before we moved here, but um what's your, we were going through our comic books. What's, what's your favorite book, Christine? Uh, I don't I don't know. I really do love that annual. That second one. Um That's my favorite one shot. Um my favorite series is 1602. I love Kingdom Come. But you know what? I loved it when Kitty was kidnapped by the Morlocks and they rescued her. Oh yeah, that was good too. That was a good book. Because they had thought, because the Morlocks had faked her death. And it, and they had thought that uh, she was dead, but really they had kidnapped her. Yeah. I love the Dark Rain book when, uh, it, I think it was Dark Rain, Rain when Norman Osborn was trying to talk to Namor and tell him what he was going to do and Namor just went in this whole spiel about basically like, I'm a king, you're just a little man, you don't tell me what to do. And you just have to read it and really uh, get the feel of the stuff Namor was saying. My dad likes to quote that and he was like taking it and reading it to people. <laughs> He's like, read this to that person. I'm like, I'm not doing that, Dad. And then he'd read it in his voice. <laughs> his preacher voice. His, his preaching voice, actually. It's kind of funny.